and wait for and I'm not going to wait for and I don't care for but I just wanted to highlight because why not why bloody not it looks like Palace are collaborating with Calvin Klein on a CK1 capsule collection that I feel like is giving me mad yawn vibes and is if anything a another reminder of just how meh Palace is as a brand and also how much irrelevance Calvin Klein has in the current discourse at the moment like they do nothing of any relevance it's just that they're jumping from designer to brand to brand in order to kind of revive a moment and i think as somebody pointed out on twitter the other day sometimes bowing out gracefully and just saying you know we've run our course we've done well that kind of deacon why or whatever else other brand out there that did the same sort of thing sometimes just kind of hanging it up and going about things differently or maybe you know deciding to license it somewhere else whatever it may be is the right way to go about things trying to constantly revive it isn't going to work because if anything i would argue that calvin Klein hair impressor collection was pretty decent i didn't mind it to be honest i thought the imagery and the visuals and the story behind it was really cool especially considering hair impressor is a new yorker somebody that's very kind of tied to that scene um doing what he's doing with his brand it, it, there was a lot of synergy i felt like between what he was doing at hair impressor and what he's doing at and the work obviously he did with Calvin Klein if anything just announcing him as the de facto creative director going forward would have been a pretty good move he would have kept that thing chugging along he would have made a couple of good pairs of jeans some nice t-shirts some hoodies some great outerwear pieces like it would have been a pretty decent I feel like ongoing relationship between them but for every reason I feel like they kind of changed and they, or they've gone under this idea that they're going to have different people doing their different takes on what CK is and what Calvin is and obviously still running the brand as is at the moment but this probably just causes more confusion you can buy mainline Calvin Klein you can buy this collaboration stuff Calvin Klein you can buy the Calvin Klein that you found in TK Maxx like there's just too many product lines too many brands at the same time and none of it makes sense like why are they collaborating with palace why this is a this is a straight clout chase isn't it this is not there's no story tying this together there's nothing that makes sense with it like well what what you're telling me those skaters wear calvin klein boxes i've seen some of these guys out and about they don't they won't wear calvin klein boxes i can guarantee you that Jeremy, you know I there's nothing that ties these together at all zero if anything they might have been wearing ben sherman boxes right maybe but not Calvin Klein boxes. It just doesn't make any sense. But again, when you want to try and revive a brand, I guess you have to do things that are somewhat unconventional or that don't make sense in an effort to kind of grab people's attention because it's grabbed my attention and then use that attention to maybe then, you know, get your brand back up where it should be. But in my opinion, this is beyond life support. This is just like dead, like dead. There are zero vibes on this. So have nothing interesting if anything this is stuff that's going to be immediately immediately copied on aliexpress like just you know just meh like zero but maybe it's most to do because of my feelings with palace maybe it's to do with that because i hate the brand and everyone around it like maybe that's why but i honestly don't feel like this has does add anything to whatever conversation is going on out there nothing at a stretch you might say the underwear is cool maybe the junior but again why not just wear regular calvin klein's like why what's the they've got what calvin klein's and vans i just i just don't get it i really don't i think it's a i think it's a bit of a wasted opportunity again like i said maybe it's just a reminder that the brand maybe should just you know accept its fate and just decide to kind of bow out gracefully you know maybe give it to someone else to kind of run and just you know stop chasing the moment it's not going to happen again it's just it's what it is it's over it's done it's done for uh, the sooner they realize that the better probably but yeah let's see what people in the comments of hb thought about it the car the jacket was pretty decent i guess but let's see what the comments feel about it fire everyone involved in the atrocity <laughs> ralph loren and palace over like calvin Klein's and palace again like even the collaborations they do in it ralph loren to calvin Klein's like okay that aunt can get it though i think these are the all what these I think those authentics are not slip ons. Okay, cool. I'd buy the CK Gene price. I think the reason why they make these collabs nowadays is just PR and they don't even care about selling products because 99% is just horrible, lazy, useless stuff which nobody would wear, but everyone's hyped about those ads and photo shoes. So I think it's the wrong one. That's true. And I also think to myself, like, obviously it's going to sell out, right? Either, either they're going to lie and say it's sold out 
by fobbing the numbers or they're just going to make a really small amount of it so it's going to just sell out because they've only made like a hundred per you know per piece or whatnot i don't know whatever it's going to sell out one or the other cool it does sell out but who's wearing this and if it doesn't sell out where does all this shit go because this isn't like this isn't nothing timeless about it. yes it's, it's a mild gray jumper it's a classic denim jacket and jeans it's a pair of boxes it's a vest top it's a t-shirt i get it but it's not nothing that people need there's nothing there's no step no step there's nothing like timeless about this collection i, I you know two weeks later this is going to be old news what's purpose is it serving and i guess maybe that what well, that commenter said is right like maybe this is just a one maybe that's what collabs are nowadays collabs are just one big marketing opportunity in the same way that in the same way that you would say it's a weird weird kind of analogy but in the same way like a comedy special if you're a stand-up comedian nowadays i'd imagine especially if you're a big one you most likely have a podcast right or some sort of vlog on youtube or something where you communicate with your fans on a kind of consistent basis somewhat you probably earn adsense off of that you probably get sponsors or ads or placements whatever right maybe you do that on instagram too so if you look at that most likely you probably make more money on the podcast than you do actually doing stand-up comedy so in theory when you do a stand-up special and you record it in an auditorium and you you know you have people come in and you it looks amazing and it's on netflix or showtime or youtube or comedy central whatever it may be that's more so a kind of living breathing business card to kind of show who you are as a comedian so that people can come and check you out on your podcast ultimately or maybe book you for more gigs but you're not actually making the much money on the actual stand-up yes you might get an advance from netflix like you know like a dave Chappelle does like a, you know there's millions that he gets to produce the specials but most of those the point of those specials is that it kind of allows you to be everlasting so that people can always have a reference of like what your materials like and anytime you're in a city they're gonna buy a ticket for you to come and see you play or they're gonna support your merch or they're gonna check out your show or they're gonna check out your podcast whatever it may be and maybe this is what they do with these brand collaborations they use them as an opportunity to kind of bring more eyes to the brand so if you're Kevin Clown and you're flipping ice cold you want to get those hype beast kids who buy palace to pay attention to your brand so you hope by aligning yourself with the cool guys that the kids are gonna come out and they're gonna be like oh shit i want to i want to wear calvin klein i forgot about that brand and they might start buying it after they buy your Cal calvin klein palace stuff maybe but i don't think it works that way personally you're gonna get a bunch of resellers buying this stuff to flip you're gonna get a bunch of hype kids or hype beasts buying it because they're just fans of the brand and whatever it's got a trifeg logo on it they'll cop and then you're gonna get people who generally like it buying it but the resellers are a big chunk of it and they're gonna dead the market you know what i mean and then it's gonna be what i don't know i just think it's a bit dead personally for me i don't necessarily get it i don't vibe with it um i'm happy for unknown t though he's starring in some of the editorial picks here it looks like um da, 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 da. so he looks fucking great in it so big up unknown t but there's zero vibes to this there was a time in my life when i might have seen this and thought oh yeah this looks really cool but seeing william defoe in some cool clothes surrounded by some skaters it's like i don't give a shit really don't care none of this looks cool to me unknown t looks cool or whatever it may be but i don't know unknown t will sell more hoodies for me than this than these i think that's like max powers max power max powers sorry that's the name right I'm not see him in a minute but that's probably good to see him still on the team don't get me wrong but it's like i don't i just don't care i really don't it does absolutely nothing to me zero this is like what this is like what some guy in flipping um labrador girl would be wearing in it some dude that listens to scar you know some guy that's got stories about how notting hill used to be is going to be wearing this sort of outfit like I, I just i just don't know like really i don't know i don't care none of it makes sense it's all fucking shit um but yeah, maybe I'm in the minority here. Maybe I'm in a minority. And if you do like it, please let me know in the comments down below if you like it and you bought a pair. Um, imagine going out looking at this. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Like, come on, geezer, man. This is fucking shit. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm not going to lie. This is so shit. It's just like a waste of fabric, isn't it? Like, 
where does this stuff go if it doesn't sell? Where'd it go? Where, do, where does this stuff go? Does this get sent to Ukraine? Like, what happens to this stuff? Or does it just get used as canvases or something? I don't know. I'm I'm generally, generally curious. Of course, my man wearing, you know, loafers with jean shorts. Of course. Um, But yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, you gotta do, you gotta do, and you gotta do, you gotta do. So big up anyone that wears it. Congratulations 